only on two tonight. A very disturbing story. A former gallery employee is in federal custody because investigators say he recorded videos of himself sexually assaulting at least two toddlers. The FBI says one of those videos appears to have been filmed in a public restroom at the shopping center. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry spoke with the FBI and has the disturbing details plus a warning all parents need to hear. Details in these court documents are horrific and too graphic for TV, a warning that some of the details are pretty disturbing. The FBI got a tip last month from authorities in Australia. Some of those videos had been uploaded to the dark web, and in those videos, investigators saw two silver bracelets like these, eventually helping them track down that former Galleria employee. Tonight, 29-year-old Arthur Hector Fernandez III, federally charged with sexual exploitation of children. The former Galleria employee and six others allegedly recorded sexually explicit videos with two children between the ages of two and three. According to court records, four videos uploaded to a private invitation-only forum on the dark web. Once they're out there on the internet, it never goes away. Both of the toddlers had relatives who also worked at the Galleria, and Fernandez allegedly offered to walk the kids around the mall when their relatives couldn't find a babysitter. Investigators believe at least one of the sexual assaults happened in a public bathroom at the Galleria because one of the victims was seen lying on a changing table. Being in a public place, uh... You would never think, right? As humans, we sort of explain things away. What do you usually find when it comes to the connection between the victim and the perpetrator? It's not the white van that's pulling up. It's the person next door. Oftentimes, we are looking for monsters just because how heinous the crime may be. Um, but we're dealing with humans that are doing horrific things. Supervisory Special Agent Torrance White leads FBI Houston's Human Trafficking and Violent Crimes Against Children squad right now with more than 100 active investigations. As the increase in use of the internet grows, uh, I would say more cases will, will grow. The Children's Assessment Center in Houston says most victims know and trust their abuser. That's why family members should be attentive, especially if the kid can't make an outcry. If the child is very young, it could be that they are wetting the bed. Maybe they have physical manifestations such as bruises. Um, if they're a little older, maybe grades are dropping. Victims needing help are the FBI's first focus when identifying those in graphic videos, but that also helps put investigators on track to the suspect. In the case of Fernandez, investigators say he wore two silver bracelets, one with a dolphin charm. The FBI seized three pairs of white low-top converse from his address, observed on the floor of one of the videos. It's a, a thorough review, all hands on deck. Those clues recognize by other mall employees, the relatives of the young kids he's accused of assaulting. Tonight, Fernandez is being held in federal custody pending trial. The judge writing that he cannot be allowed to abuse any other minors and that the evidence in this case is overwhelming. The FBI says their investigation continues and more arrests are possible. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.